my name is Mia Gallison, and I'm the creative director and owner of the Ibu Corporation and also of Peace and Love, which is a division that I started two and a half years ago to make higher count jigsaw puzzles for adults. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about our line now and some of our differentiators, and then I'm going to show you our, introduce you to our 2020 holiday list. First of all, we make 500,000 piece puzzles. That's what we've been doing. And our 500 piece puzzles are always round like this. And we make square and rectangular puzzles that are this size. All of our puzzles are printed with vegetable based inks on recycled materials. All of our artwork is commissioned originally original from painters and illustrators. This year we're fortunate enough to have found 12 female painters that we're very pleased to collaborate with. All of our puzzles have two sides printed on them so that they're super sturdy and we have no dust. And our boxes are all 11 by 11 in a sturdy and shiny and really nice. And all of them have a detail that faces out on the spine so they can display both spine out or face forward. This is one of our new 500 piece round puzzles. This is an illustrator named Carolyn Gavin from Canada. And we put this on the cover of our catalog because we thought we, everybody needed positivity, us and everyone else. And it's a very fun puzzle to do with lots of nice bright details. And we really like this one. This is called Climate Action. This is by a painter named Petra Braun, who's from Austria. And this features Greta Thunberg and signs and people supporting the climate action movement. This is Triangles by one of my favorite illustrators, Monica Forsberg. This reminds me of a kaleidoscope or looking at something under a microscope or a stained glass window. Challenging, but really beautiful. And this is Moon Dance by Uta Krugman, a German illustrator. And this shows a bunch of women doing something super fun in the middle of the forest with a full moon with lots of magical objects around her. We think this one's really nice and it's had a very strong initial reaction. This is a rectangular puzzle by a very talented young Mexican painter named Anna Leovi. It's called Eating Outside. Very challenging because there's a lot of red and orange, but very beautiful. This is by Anissa McCool, and she is Lebanese and Irish, and this is Rooftop Gardening. And we found that gardening and everything having to do with nurturing plants during this pandemic has been extremely popular and when we posted this picture on our Instagram we had six times as many likes for this image as anything we've ever posted so we think this one's going to do quite well. This is called Copenhagen and this is by Jennifer Orkin Lewis who has done some of our more popular puzzles in the past like the Women's March and Paris in a Day. People definitely like foreign scenes and especially now when everyone's stuck at home this one was done as a private label for our Scandinavian distributor, but people liked it so much we brought it into our line. This is a new illustrator named Cynthia Cliff, and this is endangered animals, flora and fauna, and everything is listed on a guide on the inside so everyone can know about these beautiful endangered beings. This is from Australia, an Australian artist, and this is the Great Barrier Reef filled with all kinds of beautiful detail. Another plant-based puzzle by Bodil Jane, a Netherlandish illustrator. Again, we've seen a lot of trending towards interest in gardening and houseplants. Another climate-related puzzle, this is the rainforest and all the beautiful camouflaged uh, insects, flora, and uh, wonderful animals that live in the rainforest. And this is our final thousand-piece puzzle by an incredibly talented young Hungarian painter who paints in a very classical style and who's a very good painter, but she chooses to use this classical style to depict um, images of contemporary issues. This is Naomi Deville, and I think this puzzle is really fresh and wonderful. For our new formats, we did these little hundred piece puzzles, and we call them potion puzzles um, because they were inspired by my daughter's roommate, and um, they, who is studying uh, feminist alchemy at Oxford and she gave us a list of objects that would go into magical uh, elixirs um, for good fortune, good tra safe travels, protection, and a love potion. So Ute Krugman from Germany did these beautiful little illustrations and then we wrote the incantations which list all the things that are in the puzzles that you can find. These are little puzzles, eight inches by eight inches but very sturdy and the pieces are the same size as our thousand piece puzzles. 
So we really like these. We think they make a beautiful little gift, almost like a talisman for good fortune in these uncertain times. So that's our holiday list for 2020. If you need any further information, please come to our website, ebu.com, or you can call us where our customer service people are answering from their homes. Um, sorry we missed you this year. Everybody take care. Bye. Thank you.